morning and happy Thursday. Um, so today I'm coming to you because I just wanted to share something that was on my mind and on my heart. Um, do you see my robe? Do you see my fabulous soft robe? It's so nice. It's so soft. It's, it makes me want to do this. A friend of mine brought me this robe and when she brought me this robe, I thought, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I kept saying one day I'm going to get myself a nice robe and I just, I, ne I never did. And uh, she said, Maria, I, I saw your robe. It was raggedy. And it, it is. Oh, gosh, this robe. It has been loved for over a decade. And um, it had stains, paint stains. I wore it once when I was painting. It had stains here on the shoulders from hair dye that I didn't wash out fully. Um, it had a burn mark. I fell asleep near a space heater. And it... <laughs> almost caught on fire and it was worn in some places it was a raggedy robe but I had convinced myself that that was enough for me I had convinced myself that it was okay to settle it's just a robe I'm only wearing it in the house nobody can see me in it it's fine what I didn't realize that I was doing stay with me is that in that time that I would wear this raggedy robe around the house I was lowering my value, my worth, and my standards. I was lowering my value, my worth, and my standards. So when I got this robe and I put it on, and it's purple, the color of royalty. And if we are children of the Most High, who is the King of Kings, that makes us huh, princesses and princes. Royalty. Coincidence? I think not. So it's so soft. I'm just going to keep doing this. So I, I just wanted to share this with you. I want you to take a moment to think about what in your life you're devaluing yourself. Where in your life are you lowering your standard? Where in your life have you settled? Because you deserve better. You deserve better. You're better than that. What I heard from her when she said, I saw your raggedy robe and I decided to go get your robe was, you're better than that. And sometimes we need to hear it from other people in order for us to have that moment where we go, oh yeah, I'm better than that. So she did that for me, and I wanted to take this moment to pay it forward and to say to you, if no one has ever said it to you before, you're better than that, and you know it. And I'm not saying it from a place of condemnation or from a place of judgment. I don't even know what it is. What I am saying is from a place of love, and as a representative of the King of Kings, you're better than that. You're royalty. You deserve to raise your bar, raise your standards, raise your values. You deserve to do that because you are his child, your royalty. And you deserve to robe yourself in really, really nice plush things. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I just, I pray that this year, it's still January and it's still fresh this new year. I pray that this year we take responsibility for ourselves in terms of looking at where we're lowering our value, where we're dropping our standard. Because you deserve better. You do. And so I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Um, if what you're looking to do is build up your ability to love yourself, I'm holding my first independent workshop ever. I have the tiger. Um, I'm holding my first independent workshop on Saturday, January 21st from 10 to 1. I'm going to tell you right up front, it is $40. Um, so if you can't make it, that's okay. There'll be others. But if you can, shoot me a message with your email address so I can send you the information. I just know that the work that's going to happen there is going to be transformational. And so I'm really excited that God is using me in this capacity to help others really love themselves and embark on new standards, right? Uh, so you guys have a great weekend. I love you so much and God bless. Super sparkly everything. Super sparkly everything. Super sparkly everything.